Welcome back! My name is Baller Scuba. This is Video Games Over Time! We are still in 1982. Today, we're going to talk about Moon Patrol. The story of Moon Patrol takes us to Irem. The story of Irem starts with Kenzo Sujimoto, a Japanese businessman. Sujimoto worked for his uncle at a food wholesale company, eventually being transferred to the confectionery wholesale business. Sujimoto found that children were lining up to watch the cotton candy machine rather than to purchase candy. Sujimoto began selling these cotton candy machines across Japan. He was then entrusted with modifying a pachinko machine, a mechanical arcade and gambling machine. That pachinko machine proved to be successful as well. Seeing the success of entertainment machines, Sujimoto established IPM Company Limited in 1974. IPM, short for International Playing Machine, would build and install video games for small stores in Japan. As the video game market began to grow, IPM would grow with it. IPM started manufacturing, selling, and renting arcade cabinets. In 1978, IPM started releasing their own games. IPM first released IPM Invaders, a clone of Space Invaders. In 1979, IBM sent a letter to IPM stating that the similarities between the names was too confusing. So IPM became IRIM, short for International Rental Electronics Machines. Then, in 1980, the Nanao Corporation, a Japanese technology company, became the majority shareholder of IRIM, with Kenzo Sujimoto remaining the chairman of the company. Although IRIM had released arcade games, none of them had been particularly successful. That changed with Moon Patrol. Moon Patrol, designed by Takashi Nishiyama, is a side-scrolling shooter in which the player controls a moon buggy traveling along the moon's surface. The enemies come in the form of UFOs that must be shot down from overhead. The game is separated into several stages with a total of 26 checkpoints. The map at the top of the screen shows the checkpoints as well as the time spent on the stage and three lights that show upcoming aerial attacks, upcoming minefields, and enemies that are coming from behind. The game ends when the last life is lost. The game can be continued, but the points are reset. Irem released Moon Patrol on May 8, 1982 in Japan. Irem licensed the game to Williams Electronics to publish in North America. Williams Electronics released Moon Patrol in North America in August 1982. That is the backstory to Moon Patrol. With that now told, it's time to play the game for ourselves. And here we are in the game. As you can see, it is very brightly colored. Let's get the moon buggy off the ground for Moon Patrol. I'm not actually controlling it, but it's a small little thing to get the title screen out there. That is nice. There's not a lot to talk about with this game that I haven't already talked about. Uh, so let's go ahead and put in the quarter and... Head in. Nice little jingle to start. Uh, you can control left and right. Um, it does automatically move though. Get a jump. And then of course you can shoot. Uh, when you shoot, you shoot in two directions. You shoot ahead and you shoot up. We're gonna get you. All right, there are checkpoints along the way. You can tell because they will be on the bottom of the screen. And they will uh, show a letter. A through Z. And you can see we're already on B. So we're, we're making decent progress. I was holding back, but apparently not enough. And this is Moon Patrol. It's a fairly straightforward game, but it is effective. One of the things that I do want to point out is uh, something that we'll talk about in a little bit more in detail, but there's parallax scrolling in this game. There's technically three different layers here going on. And we haven't seen a lot of that. So I want you to notice that. Uh, basically, there is the, the brown layer at the bottom, 
which is also the front. Uh, then we have the green kind of in the middle, the blue in the back, and then technically we have the black that doesn't move at all, um, but that's not really a layer. But they're all scrolling at different speeds, which give you kind of a sense of 3D space and a sense of progression. All right, we made it to point E, which allows us to move ahead. Average time is a little bit faster than me. Uh, we don't get a bonus for that because of that. Oh, well. And now we're on technically to the second stage. Uh, there's going to be five... Five checkpoints. Once again, like, it doesn't, it doesn't go back and forth as quickly as I would like. So there's a couple times when I feel like I'm just kind of screwed. How did I miss that? Eh, back. There we go. Let's go a little bit faster. All right, we made it to F. Uh, if you fail to get those jumps, thought I could shoot that one. Oh, well, game over. That's our first attempt. Uh, I haven't had too much practice with this game. Like I said, there's not a lot going on, uh, but we can just kind of continue from there. Uh, our points are reset, but I don't really care about points anyway. I do care that I didn't make that jump. I hit the button, but apparently it was a little bit too late. There we go. can shoot that one away. Yeah, things are definitely getting harder for us here. Yeah, I can shoot the smaller one. Apparently I just missed it before. All right, new checkpoint. we go. Things are working out all right for us. Yeah, there's not a lot of information out there about Moon Patrol, but we are going to try to make it all the way through to Z. Uh, once you get there, it does just loop around, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, there is a maximum score in this game. Uh, it gets you up to, you know, as many points as you can see there. That's basically your maximum. So we will not be able to do that, I don't think. I'm much more concerned about progression than anything else. Yeah, they didn't quite make that. I believe that they give you a, an extra life at 10,000 points, which is, as you can see, not something that I'm too good at doing. I swear when I jump, when I jump, uh, it speeds up a bit after I land. There's not much I can do to hit you. Yeah, it definitely speeds up after I land. Because I should have handled that just fine. Need to learn to just kind of jump over those. But like I said, we're, we're going to try to make it all the way to the end. I did actually try to jump that time. I keep on dying on the same spot. That's never a good sign. How did I not make that jump? Th maybe I can't even make it to Z. Jeez. We're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna get this. Like I said, I'm not the best Moon Patrol player. I feel like there's definitely uh, I can't I can't jump over it. Why after I landed the jump did I speed up, but then as soon as I got in the air again, I slowed down by a ton. I, I honestly don't even know what to do at that point because I can't seemingly jump over it. I can't slow down and shoot it. I'm not entirely sure what to do. Okay, I made that one. All right, there's point J. Hooray. Time to reach the point J, 199, average is 80. <laughs> I'm apparently a very slow player. I'm okay with that. I died a lot. All right, we have landmines up next. Just have to jump over the land. Landmines. Not entirely sure why it sped up so much there. But we will continue on. Okay. 
There, we made it to K. Like, I'm not holding right, I'm not holding left. At, at a lot of these points, I'm just... Just letting the buttons go. And the moon patrol... Well, the moon buggy sometimes doesn't want to jump for me. I can't, like, hit these, right? Nope. Just gotta jump over them. Sometimes the moon buggy does what it wants. All right, there's L. Progress is being made. It's just hitting the jump button. I don't care about time. I don't care about points. I'm just trying to make it to the end. That way. Yeah, I've, I've had so such bad luck with the speed up and speed down that I've decided to just kind of abandon it while I'm just driving. And whatever happens, happens. All right, well, we made it to N. These are the ones that create the holes that I then have to jump over. Oh! So focused on getting past that that I didn't make it. All right, so we're on N. That's something. Yeah, the, the total time carries forward. That's why my time was so bad last time. Last uh, level, I should say. Saw it, saw it a little late there. <laughs> ah, slow down. Okay, speed up. How did I not make that jump? I should have made that jump. And I also should have hit you. Slow. Okay, we got you. All right, should be clear sailing all the way to O. There we go. We made it. Time is irrelevant. Time is an illusion. That's all. That, well, at least they gave me 100 instead of 80, but we, we made it. This looks very similar to what we have seen before. Thought I timed that one right. All right, we're we're moving on. We're just pretending that I can I can do things properly, and we're just ignoring all the times that that doesn't happen, which is at this point the majority of the time. As far as I can tell, like tapping and holding has no difference. Like I, I a jump is a jump. Maybe I'm just early, which is entirely possible. Okay. P. We made it. Now we have these. Okay, so I can't jump over them. So I'm just gonna button mash and hope for the best. At least the big ones I can't jump over. All right, enemies are coming. But I made it to point Q. Slow. Okay. There we go. Big jump here. Notice that it sped up again. All right, we made it to R. And Why is this easy? What am I missing? <laughs> that one was just easy. It was, it was just a gimme, apparently. Compared to some of the other things that we've done, at least. Alright, so that's the one I'm gonna have to jump over. There's another one. How did I miss him? Alright, well we made it to T. That one wasn't too bad. 116, your average time 100. Well, they're a little bit longer levels. It's no bonus, I, I don't care. We're just gonna try to make it all the way to Z here. And once again, while I'm traveling, I'm just not hitting left and right. I'm only hitting left and right to avoid getting hit by 
Projectiles! I had to say projectiles, didn't I? I thought I could shoot it away, to be honest. But that is clearly not the case. I, I couldn't, like, dodge it and fire. See, that, that time I tried to give myself a little bit more room and then I can't make the jump. Very tight time frame for what I need to do here. This one's gonna take a few tries. Just trying to figure out how to get past this. Okay. See, I held left and I still sped up in the air, it seemed to me. Once again, I held left. Didn't seem to matter. That, w that time I, I touched right. I was thinking maybe if I go faster, then I can go slower. That did not work out. I can only do so much. I, I clearly can't just not hit the button. I have to hit left. It's the only way. And get that timing just right. It was a little bit high there. Are we gonna lose to tanks right at the end? Why are there tanks on the moon anyway? This is supposed to be the moon, right? All right if I go a little bit faster there. Apparently I, I, I didn't jump over that one well enough. Okay, that one was too slow. I told you this was gonna take a few tries. This is honestly the worst that I've done in a video game for the series, I think. This whole time. Moon Patrol is obviously the worst for me. As my dog's going crazy in the corner. Oh, she woke up. Do I just stay underneath that? I can't imagine that I do. No? <laughs> so I can't jump over it, I can't stay underneath it, and I can't shoot it. What options do I have left? <laughs> Alright, let's try to go a little bit faster, then we'll s- No, oh, I didn't slow down fast enough. Okay. No, no, it's, I-, I s Like, the, what I have to do is speed up here, then slow down, then slow down while in the air, and then- <sighs> Okay, so I can shoot them now? When did this start? When did that start? I tried that several times. All right, now we just spam away. W. All right, we have incoming aliens. As long as I spam the button, things have worked out well for me. I feel like a lot of these levels are easier than some of the other ones that we've encountered before. Just barely missed those. Okay. Whenever there's one left, he goes all the way to the right so that I can't hit him. He drops two, three, up. Oh. Okay. Left. Big jump. Big jump. And that's the game! Congratulations! Yeah, don't, don't worry about time. Time is an illusion. It's all fake. But hey, special bonus points of 5,000, and now we're on the champion course, but uh, considering how hard it was for me to get through the beginner course, I'm not too keen on trying too hard. Wow. Okay. I'm not too keen on trying too hard on this one. This way? Okay, I made it through that. Like they have like homing shots at me now. They, like, spread all the way across the map to try to get me. 
Okay, we have somebody coming behind me. I'm not sure what to do about this, to be honest. Other than to try to time my jump. Oh, that is... That is not nice. And okay, now they have the tanks coming at me in the first level. How? You know what? It doesn't matter. We're not trying to sort that out today. We are done here. That is the game. So with the game now played, let's talk about how it holds up today. Playing the game today, the first thing that does stand out to me, at least, is the game's difficulty. It does have quite the learning curve to try to figure out what is going on in the game and how to play around the game's limitations. Uh, but there's also kind of a feeling of a lack of control. So uh, I would say that the technical aspects of the game, the graphics, the sound, um, those are great, uh, especially for the time. I think those actually hold up really well. All the other parts of it don't necessarily hold up as well for me because it never really felt like I was in control of the buggy and it never felt like I was in control of my shots either. So it felt a lot like I was hitting buttons and kind of hoping for the best as I played this game. Uh, I'm glad that I played it, uh, but it's not necessarily a game that I would go back to. I don't think the replayability on this is particularly high. Uh, the Champions course whatever they called it the challenging course the second round basically um is definitely something that poses a much tougher challenge than that beginner course but that doesn't necessarily make it something that i would want to go back to and try to challenge myself to beat uh because i never really felt like i was in control of the buggy um everything is just kind of slow hitting to the right hitting to the left it just kind of slowly changes the speed of the buggy uh, so there's definitely sometimes when they drop bombs or shoot at you and it just kind of feels like oh well there's nothing I can do you put it in the exact right spot and I can't avoid that um, the game is fun um, and I am glad that I made it all the way through. As you can see, it is kind of a quarter eater, especially if you are new to the game. But as you get better, I'm sure there are people that can go through the entire game without losing a single life. Uh, I don't necessarily want to get to the point where I can do that because it feels like it's too much effort for me to get to that point. Too, too long, too... I don't have the determination, I guess I should say, to get to that point. Uh, so the game is fun, uh, but it is different, which is, I think, good at, at this point. It's definitely a different feel to other games that we have played. Um, but there are definitely some drawbacks to the game that prevent me from necessarily recommending it to a lot of people. If you are a fan of old arcade games, this is definitely worth a shot, uh, but don't expect to spend... A ton of time on it but expect us ex to spend a lot of quarters on it I guess is where I would put it and that's my modern take on the game when it was released Moon Patrol proved to be moderately successful it would spawn its own ports re-releases and clones it is also seen as innovative being one of the first games to use parallax scrolling parallax scrolling is a technique to convey three-dimensional space. It involves two different parts of the screen scrolling at two different speeds, with the one in the foreground scrolling faster than the one in the background. We will see lots of parallax scrolling as we continue. Looking ahead, Irem would capitalize off the success of Moon Patrol and continue to develop video games. We will be hearing from Irem again. We will also be hearing from Irem's chairman, Kenzo Sujimoto again. He would continue to be influential in the industry. We will also be hearing from Takashi Nishiyama again. This would be his first, but not his last, video game. That will do it for the story of Moon Patrol for now. My name is Baller Scuba. This has been Video Games Over Time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in our next video when we head to the jungle.